Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today we're just going to be doing a general check-in to see what's going on in the collective. We're going to be looking at divine soulmate connections or twin soul connections. All right, and we will be looking separately at the divine masculine as well as the divine feminine energies. Keep in mind that this is general, okay? So it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you want to get more specific and get a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And I do say in the description that um, I ask for a description of your situation, just a brief one. And this is actually kind of important. Some, some of you guys actually skip that part. And it's important for me because it does help me to apply the energies a little bit more specifically and more accurately to your situation okay like the cards are the cards whatever's going to come through is going to come through regardless of whether i know your situation or not i still probably will be channeling messages as well um but it just it just gives me that extra um bit of information to even ask more questions for your situation okay so because i know a lot of readers don't want any descriptions but for me, I feel like I can get way more detailed and specific when I do have a general background. All right, so with that said, let's get into this. Let's see, what is going on with the masculines? <clears throat> All right. And we have focus. All right, okay. I actually get that they're really trying to focus. I'm not so sure that this is actually them being as focused as they would want to be, but this is definitely an effort to focus on something here. So we are gonna get a few more and see what exactly is going on here. Almost, it's coming in as them having a target, having a particular goal that they want to focus on here. Let's see. Yeah, we have anxiety. So that is what is actually keeping them from being able to focus on what it is that they are trying to focus on is that there's so much um, stress, there's so much anxiety at the moment it's and it's i really do feel like this is actually related to the full moon that we had about a week ago which was in aries and i will explain in a moment let's just see what else we get here all right we have material world soulmate and cycles okay yeah so i feel like this is actually related to what i was going to say about this anxiety so what this is about is that I mean, you can relate it to the full moon. You don't have to. This is just the way that I perceive it. So the full moon in Aries, right, is, is pushing us to take action. Okay, so this is specifically for the divine masculine, but it's also kind of true for just <laughs> what this energy does in the collective overall. All right, so it's pushing us to take action. Um, but the way that it is pushing us to take this action, it's like so intense, it's so powerful that it can create anxiety because we feel like if we do take action on this impulse, it feels so powerful. Um, we feel like it, like we might not even be able to control ourselves. Like it might just completely throw us out of control. Um, almost like, you know, into a rage of action. And that can be pretty scary. That can actually create a lot of anxiety, right? And then this balloon, I think, was also in Libra. So there's that like counterbalancing act where Libra wants everything to be fair, everything to be balanced. And so that kind of pulls us back that way and can kind of try to, um, um, what's the word? Contain us, right? Contain us from really going all the way out. So I feel like that's why I was getting this mixed message here with focus, like focusing on that, wanting to focus, but it's just so intense that there was kind of like a pullback, right? And that created a lot of anxiety or it has been creating anxiety, okay? Because this is also current energy right here. So a lot of this um, like tug of war or pulling in either direction, what it is is it creates cycles, right? So there's a cycle of, okay, wanting to move forward, wanting to take action. And then there's the cycle of, okay, wait, I need to like contain myself and um, moderate myself. Right. So there's this pull back and forth between the material world and the divine soulmate connection. All right. So that's those are the cycles. Right. It's like one moment focusing on the soulmate connection, wanting to move in that direction, feeling that push. 
wanting to take action and I'm sure that a lot of you feminines were able to feel that like you could just feel it you could feel the intensity of the energy of the masculine right um, being focused on you and then that anxiety hits and then the masculine decides to focus on the material world instead on the 3d and on what's going on like just you know everyday life um, you know, whether that be their work, their family, or just whatever is going on in their life. So, yeah, okay, that was a bit longer of an intro here than I expected, but that's what it is. Alright, so, <laughs> cycles between the material world and the soulmate connection. So, let's, let's get some tarot. So masculines, and then, yeah, we'll see the feminine's energy separately. So let's just get a general feel from the tarot. All right, and we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Swords in reverse, and the Devil in reverse. All right, so this is what they're trying to focus on. The masculine um, is really trying to focus on healing certain wounds, first of all. Um, I do feel that for a lot of them, though, they're actually doing the opposite, okay? So again, it's like, it's like polar opposites. It's like being pulled in either direction. Yeah, I know this is getting a little complicated, but that's that's just what's happening right now. So the masculine is focusing on, on the one hand, trying to focus on healing certain wounds, which is helping them to release fears, release attachments, release um, karmic cycles, karmic partners, whatever, addictions, okay? Could be anything here with the devil being in reverse. They are working on that. And then there's this other energy that sometimes can pull them away from that, right? Again, I feel like it's the anxiety that comes along with this that gets them to redirect their focus on other things, other distractions like work. And that is so that they can avoid the pain. And the reason why is because that wound is still open with their feminine. All right, so they, there are certain things in the connection with their feminine or what they have felt, and it could even just be, you know, even the way they have dealt with the situation. And I know that for most of you, it feels like it's the masculine who has caused pain to you, to the feminine, but there are situations where the masculine also feels pain. And it doesn't mean that you cause this, but there's a lot of pain that they are feeling as well. And it doesn't matter who's um, to blame for that, okay? Nobody is to blame, actually. But the masculines also carry a pain, and it could be anything, even if it's not really based in reality. And so because that wound is so painful, right, and even though they're trying to heal it, even on a subconscious level, it's easy for them to get distracted and to try to focus, once again, on the material world in order to avoid that... Um, that pain because it's really painful. But overall though, th these cycles, this back and forth between the two is actually natural and it still is moving them forward towards releasing those fears, releasing the attachments and anything that has been um, toxic. So yeah, it's going to, it's going to apply to each of you in different ways. All right, let's see what else. Let's get a little more specific, and I will clarify um, some of these. But let's see. What are they thinking when it comes to their coming in? All right, the Two of Pentacles, the Star in Reverse, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so obviously, I mean, some of you are in contact, some of you are not in contact, some of you are in semi-contact. Either way, the masculine right now in their in their headspace, they're feeling like something is very difficult to manage in this connection. Something feels very, very heavy, all right? We have both the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. To me, these are pretty similar energies. Um, feeling like something is just 
very, very difficult to handle, very difficult to face, very difficult to deal with. Feeling like there's just so much on their plate and it could be for a number of reasons. Um, but the point is, is that this is actually making them feel like, like there's not much hope here at the moment, okay? They're not feeling very hopeful for this connection, um, regardless of whether it depends on them or not. They're feeling like, you know, this is just something that cannot, that cannot happen. That's how they're thinking. Let's see what's going on with them emotionally. And I will clarify, and we will also see possibly what is coming up, although I kind of feel like um, the energies that we get are also, you know, what's coming up in the next week. All right, we have the Eight of Swords, the Page of Cups. Let me get one more. All right, and the Page of Pentacles, which kind of flipped in reverse, but kind of not, so could go either way. So what I'm getting here is that, actually, let me, I always do this. <laughs> I always have them off to the side <laughs> to have space, but then you guys can't see them. All right. So the masculine is feeling trapped with the feminine. They're feeling like there's just no way out of this um, entanglement, okay? They're feeling entangled with you and with their emotions, right? With the Page of Cups, there's a lot of strong emotions here. We have two pages, actually, um, the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. They feel like they really don't know what to do with this energy. They feel almost like, um, like they're just amateurs in a way, like just not really knowing how to handle emotion. And it's like, they're again, it's like this um, stuck in this, what exactly what I was saying about the material world and the soulmate, all right? Their emotions, right, their soulmate and the material world, the Page of Pentacles. So, it's like they're trapped. That's what how they're feeling. They're trapped in this cycle of emotions versus the material world. What I feel like I want in my heart, my divine soulmate, and what seems to be the more practical approach or the more practical thing to do, the more reasonable thing to do. And it's like they're stuck in that. So, yeah, pretty strong energy here that they are having to face. So let's clarify. Let's clarify that top row. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords in Reverse, and the Devil in Reverse. So we have the Two of Pentacles showing up again, this time in reverse actually. The Eight of Wands also in reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune also in reverse. Okay. Again, this is distraction here, okay? The Two of Pentacles being in reverse um, together with the Eight of Pentacles. This is what I was saying before. Yes, they're trying to focus. They're really trying to focus on what it is that they need to do on, you know, the pain that they have felt. Trying to figure that out. Trying to come to terms with, you know, what have their fears been? What is it that they're so afraid of? What is it that is holding them back? What is it that is toxic in their lives? But again, it's too much for them to handle, and so that's why they, they have like this back and forth, all right? So we have the Eight of Wands in reverse here when it comes to the Three of Swords in reverse, so which is that pain. So again, there's this tendency to avoid it or to not want to talk about it. So if you are in contact, I feel like, you know, there's a lot that they're hiding here emotionally, so you may have been picking up on that. It's almost like, you know, they, the masculine is trying to really hide his or her emotions, and even though, even though at the same time they are working on releasing those fears, they're just not talking about it. 
They're not talking about it because here, see, this is them releasing that fear of change, that resistance to change. So this is making them a little bit more open to it, even if it's difficult, even if there is back and forth, because that's what happens, you know. Um, you, you're resisting the change, but then you're feeling pushed to make a change, right? So, and then the change seems scary, so you go back. But every time you go back and forth in that cycle, it gets less and less scary, okay? So let's see the second row. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, let me get one more. All right, and the, is this the page? Yeah, this is <laughs> 007, the page of swords in reverse. All right, so the masculine is actually feeling intimidated by you. And this is another thing that makes it so difficult for them to actually um, handle the situation. All right, see, so notice in this, in this image, of the six of pentacles like this cat person is huge right it's like a giant and all all these little things down here they're actually people i don't know if you can see that but they're actually little people and it's like the masculine feels like you have given so much or you have more to give or you know they feel like you are just high up on this pedestal where you are able to um provide or give to them more than they have been able to do so to you. And that is something that does make it difficult to feel like, um, you know, that they can actually come up to your level. All right. So this is um, definitely feeling intimidation. And that is also what is contributing to them feeling like this is, there's not much hope, right? And that's why we have the Knight of Wands in reverse, because feeling like they just cannot take action in that in that direction and they're also feeling very um the knight of wands being in reverse it's like compared to you that like they they see themselves as being um very unstable whereas you you appear to be just more grounded more giving more um centered more balanced And I feel like, yeah, and this is another reason, like, this is just showing up again, just confirming, you know, the lack of um, clear communication here. However, I do also feel like the masculine is um, keeping an eye on you, but in a secretive way, all right? Even if you are in contact, I feel like they're, keep, they're kind of, like, watching you more so than before. All right, let's clarify this bottom row. Okay, so we have the six of swords, two of swords in reverse, and the 10 of swords in reverse. All right, so. <laughs> the masculine is really trying to get out of this mess, really trying to get out of this entanglement, trying to find some kind of a solution. That's why we have that focus card and the anxiety, like it's just all making so much sense now. Um, trying to <laughs> really get out of this crazy, crazy entanglement that they have created in their own mind, right, in their own energy. Um, but that's not, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. There's a lot of overthinking. There's a lot of overanalyzing. And that's why they try to focus, um, freaking out and then, you know, moving, then focusing in the opposite direction, getting distracted, distracting themselves. It's not even that they're getting distracted. They are doing that to themselves. They're purposely, deliberately distracting themselves in order to avoid, you know, the uncomfortableness that focusing in the right path is um, creating for them. So, all 
I mean, even this Two of Swords in reverse, it's it's really, really signifying this battle that they're having with their own self, right, when it comes to their emotions. Feeling like there's no winning. Like, they, they cannot... Um, recover from these emotions, all right, the Ten of Swords in reverse. There's no way that they can just remove these emotions. So it's kind of like, well, who's going to win, the emotions or the material world, right, the mind or the rationality part of it. And it's like, well, you can't win over the emotions, like they're just too strong. And so it feels like, um, two, I mean, two of swords in reverse and the ten of swords in reverse, it feels like they're, it's a dead end. They feel like they're doomed. Like it's a catch-22. Like damned if I do, damned if I don't, I don't know what to do. So that's what's going on. With the masculines, um, I will get, I will get something to see where this is headed, okay, at the end. But let's just get a few cards for the feminines. I will probably keep it a bit briefer. So let's see what is going on with the feminines. Alright, one sec because I dropped the card. Alright, and we have Journey. Let's see what else. For some of you, this could be literal, like you could be actually taking a journey. We have success <laughs> attached to that. Okay, it doesn't have to be literal. This journey could be anything, but I feel like you're doing something, um, maybe even closing the door to something, saying goodbye to something, all right? Um, moving locations, taking a trip, embarking on a new journey, even if it's just um, spiritual, energetic, or, you know, for your own self, like um, enrolling in a new course or changing a career, just anything, all right, or just getting yourself into a new hobby, whatever that is, okay, I do feel like if it's something significant for you, all right, it's something that is going to be successful, there's success attached to that, all right, so um, take that as a confirmation, whatever this is, and for some of you, it could even be um, self-isolation, that's a journey, <laughs> because I know that there's a call, um, for a lot of us to actually do that. Let's see, what else? Where are the feminines, please? All right, metamorphosis, refocus, and contemplation. Whatever this is, um, okay, so it could just be for a specific group of you, okay, if this part doesn't resonate with you, um, you know, you can just disregard it, or take it as, it could be something that is coming up for you, alright, or maybe it's something you've been thinking about, embarking on some kind of a new journey, taking on something new, alright, whatever that is, it's leading you to a metamorphosis, or it's because you are changing, and you are seeing things in a different way, obviously for a lot of you, this could be you saying goodbye to your masculine, right, closing that door for now. And deciding to move on in your life, you know, kind of like moving out. Even if, I mean, obviously, you know, if you are not living together, it's metaphorically speaking, moving out. Even if that is the case, this is something that is leading you towards success. All right? It is a part of your metamorphosis and it is helping you to further progress. Right? It's a refocus refocusing your energy away from from this connection or even if you are still focused on this connection you are refocusing though how do you view this why exactly are you in this connection or you know like if you are obviously watching um youtube videos for example you know you're watching them for a different purpose it's not because you are obsessed it's not because you're just looking for what is the outcome going to be it's not because you're just looking for when is union going to happen. You're actually looking more at the um, spiritual aspect of this, the healing aspect, how this is creating a, more, a metamorphosis within you. And it's making you think. It's making you think. It's making you think about your life, about your own healing, about your own process, about what it is that you have learned, what it is that you are still learning, what it is that you still want to learn for your own self and where you are heading, the direction that you want to go in. 
And this contemplation can even be, you know, thinking about what all of this means or what does this new journey mean? All right, so any of the above, all of the above, none of the above, or just, you know, anything that comes to you when you look at these cards. All right, so I'm just going to pull up just one row of of tarot cards for the feminines. Okay. The Queen of Wands, the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Wands in reverse. I did have one more. It's the Two of Cups in reverse which kind of fell out on its own there. Okay, so, Femmes. So even though we have the Ace of Swords in reverse, we do have the beginning of this combination with the Queen of Wands, all right? So this is you fully trying to stand in your power. I feel like you are doing that. You are being successful, okay? The Queen of Wands goes after what she wants. She's determined. She sets a goal and then she goes after it. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing here with the journey and um, the success. You're going after that. All right. So, and what this is, it's all about releasing the burden. Um, I feel like you're either feeling or you're going to feel like a weight has been lifted off of you. And that could be actually in relation to that journey. Like if you are closing the door here or if you are deciding to, you know, refocus or move away from this in whatever way, you're feeling like a weight has been lifted off of you. Like you're releasing a burden. And I feel like you're releasing a burden of whatever is not standing in truth, whatever is not truthful to you, whatever is not in alignment with your own truth, with your own standards, and just with authenticity, whatever you feel is not authentic, you just don't want it in your life. And you're releasing those burdens. So this might not even just be about your masculine. I feel like this is, you know, just overall, it could be friends, it could be um, jobs, it could be anything, anything in your life that just feels like it's just not authentic or that it's not serving you, you're releasing that. And that is helping you to stand in your power. That is setting you off onto a new journey, which is going to be successful. It's leading to your metamorphosis. You're refocusing. Yes, you're contemplating. It's not easy. It's making you think a lot. All right. And that's why we have the two of cups in reverse, because this ultimately does actually um, come by you releasing certain um, connections. Okay. And so, yeah, for a lot of you, it will be the masculine and for a lot of you it could be because you feel like well you know this is not going anywhere so you know how long am I going to be waiting for this you know that you deserve more than that so and even if it's painful even if it's difficult you know you're you're letting it go So I'm just getting a, a couple clarifies here. Just anything else that wants to come through. All right, the Empress in reverse, the Page of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, so this is all about where it was that you were not standing in your power because I feel like for a lot of you, you know, you you kept trying to stand in your power. You kept wanting to be um, this empress, right? Being independent, being abundant, being um, having that self-respect, really feeling like you are where you want to be and that just wasn't the case. And I feel like it's still a work in progress, right? And that's why you're doing what you're doing. That's the direction that you are moving towards though. All right, with the Page of Wands here. It's it's a journey. It definitely is a journey. And I feel like that is one of the lessons here that you are learning or that you have learned. And what, what you are realizing, which is helping you on the path, is that this is an ongoing journey. It's not just, you know, what is the end result? When is the end result getting here? It's like, yeah, you know, union can be one of the um, major events, but that's not, that's not the big end result here. It, like I said, you know, I, I mean, I definitely believe that a lot of divine soulmates, they are going to be together, right? There will be union, but that's not 
the goal. That's not the end goal. That's just what I'm trying to get at. You know, we have to keep in mind the journey because that is what is the most important. That's where all the lessons are. And that's where all the soul growth is. So I feel like what the um, feminine here is releasing is not having respected herself in the past. Not even, you know, realizing it. Um, and waiting. That's what you are in the process of releasing here. And I feel like, yeah, you know, this, for a lot of you, this might feel like it's a, um, it's a new journey. Or, you know, if you have been releasing for a while now, it's like you're moving up a level when it comes to that. All right, so let's just get a couple cards to see what is coming up for the masculines. Will they be able to focus <laughs> or what? All right, we have the Queen of Cups, Judgment, and the Fool. Okay, wow. It's like I said, you know, <laughs> with the Page of Cups here, there is no being able to win over your emotions, right? This is them really feeling their emotions at a much deeper level, right? Like if at the moment it's at the Page of Cups, it's moving up to the Queen of Cups, right? This is also being in touch with one's own intuition. This is feeling that love that there is in this connection with the feminine, all right? And there's a huge, huge awareness of that here, which is actually, um, I mean, judgment, that's a huge energy. This is also an energy of metamorphosis, of a transformation, and it's a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call. It's um, a revelation. So there could be different um, various events that are happening in the masculine's life coming up, or even currently, which could even be related to what it is that you're doing if you were in contact and you're closing that door, all right? That could definitely be one of those, um, one of those events, right? Creating this wake-up call for them. Something is happening definitely here that, that is creating a wake-up call, all right, to the masculines, which is actually also leading them to this fool's energy, which is all about taking a risk, taking a new direction, even if they feel um, like they don't know where they're going, right? Going into the unknown or feeling um, inexperienced at this, whatever that is. Taking a, some kind of a leap of faith, being more daring. And I feel like actually what this is, is the progression of what I was saying before with the back and forth, right? Um, not allowing fear or anxiety to stop them. So that's being minimized here and taking that risk. So for those of you not in contact, I mean, I, this definitely could be the masculine reaching out, okay, with judgment and the fool. Um, for others of you, it could just be, you know, the masculine taking some kind of, some kind of a step, some kind of a step forward based on their emotions. Whatever the case, though, this is the masculine listening more to their emotions than before, all right, rather than the 3D aspect. All right, so let's just get a final message here. Who and look at that, we have time to go. Time to go as well as journey, okay? So if you needed any more confirmation, whatever it is that you are trying to do or moving towards or maybe even just thinking about doing, all right, which is new, this is, this is your... Um, your cue right here. It's time to go. All right, let's get one more. All right, and we have the south node. Don't let your past hold you back. And I feel like this is true for the masculines as well as the feminines. Um, so yeah, definitely take this as it resonates for you. You know, whatever it is that happened in the past or, you know, if you feel like you've been repeating cycles, don't think of that and let it hold you back, all right? Don't think that every time you make this effort that you're just going to end up reverting back. 
don't let that hold you back, all right? Keep moving forward. And I feel like it's the masculines who are also being pushed in that way, not letting the past hold them back, whatever it is that may have happened for them or whatever, you know, their own cycles are here. All right, guys, that is it. I thank you all so, so much for watching. Um, please give me a like if this resonated. You can leave a comment if you'd like, and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.